Okay, finally I'm overcoming bronchitis, kind of. I'm only dying, it's fine. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Okay, so I tell the mom about the nanny and send her all the pictures and the videos, there are videos too. Well, she goes in her mom groups and blasts this girl, like put her on blast. Like, the local Facebook word of mouth groups, people looking for nannies. Like she posted pictures of the nanny with her husband, like in front of God and everybody. And of course, some people were like, oh man, I'm sorry that happened. Some people were like, thanks for letting me know. I almost hired her. And other people were like, <coughs> I'm dying. Sorry, I'm gross. Anyway, some people told her to take it down because that's not right. That's her privacy. Which, just to clarify, there's no expectation of privacy when you're in public. And also, she didn't badmouth her online. She literally just stated the facts. Anywho, so one of the other ladies said, hey, that's my babysitter. We use her really often. So then that lady gets suspicious and she hires a PI as well. I don't know why she didn't hire me, but it's fine. Well, anyways, this ending's predictable, right? Now, disclaimer, this is information coming from the other lady to my client who told me. Well, so allegedly the other PI followed the husband to my subject's house, my subject being the nanny. So the PI gets video of the husband kissing this girl goodbye, just all willy-nilly kissing her in the parking lot. But plot twist, it wasn't the freaking nanny. It was like one of her whole friends. So the whole nanny hooked up this lady's husband with one of her whole friends. It's like that movie Bling Ring, but like with husbands. 